Hi everyone! So today we're gonna talk, as you've seen down there, uh, about period and contraception and more specifically my story, my relationship with my period, my contraception since the beginning of time. <laughs> so let's start right now because it's gonna be a long subject I guess. So I had my first period when I was 14 and a half and it was quite late because all of my friends already had it and uh, even though all of my friends already had it, I didn't really know what it was. I know that it was blood and I know that you had to use protection. Uh, I grew up with my mom who was not shy about it. She told us that there were pads and tampons there if we needed any. Like, it was not like a... I don't know, it was not like something taboo in our house because, well, we all knew it was going to happen and we all knew what to do. I also remember my mom who told us uh, since we were like maybe 13 when we started to be older uh, to use uh, toilet paper in our school if it just happened in our school to use toilet paper in the school. So voila, that's what I knew about period before I had them. So I will always remember the night I had the night. Yeah, the night I had them because it was at a wedding, the first wedding I've been in my life. And it was like uh, three hours away from my house. So I was not going to sleep in my house. It was my first wedding. So I had a dress, obviously. And I had like some pain in my stomach, like cramps. I thought I was going to be sick, honestly. Not badly sick, but you know, I was feeling like it was something wrong inside my body and that night uh, we were like a few hours into the wedding it was quite late already maybe 10 at night i'd say so quite late for a wedding night you know we already were having fun etc and i'm going to the bathroom and i see i might be having my first period i wasn't sure but in the same time i was having blood down there so you know cannot be <laughs> too many too many solutions. Is either I'm having my period or I'm dying. One of those. Uh, I wasn't dying. And I go to see my mom, uh, very panicked. I remember this advice, toilet paper, so I just wrapped some toilet paper in my underwear. Way too much information, but it's important to say. And I go to see my mom and I'm like, uh, mom, I think I'm having my first period. Uh, do you have something? I don't know, pad? Uh, and my mom is looking in her bag. Oh, I don't have nothing, she's telling me. So she's going to my auntie and she say, uh, listen, uh, she's having her first period. Do you have anything? Maybe pads? And my auntie is going, oh my god, my niece is having her first period. I'm so proud. And in a wedding, full of people they didn't really know but you know you had this kind of age where you start to feel embarrassed about adult stuff and she's screaming this and i feel so ashamed so ashamed which i shouldn't have been because i mean everybody is having her uh, is having period i mean all women are having periods and i was feeling ashamed but in the end i had uh, pads so voila i was 14 my first period and uh, all night after the wedding, I had really bad pain in my stomach, like pain that was stopping me to sleep, to stand up, to walk, to move, like really, really bad pain. And it was only the beginning. So uh, yes, periods are painful. So if you don't have painful period, you're so lucky, but it's not my case. That was my first period. Then I just continued uh, using pads and tampons when I was uh, having periods, everything was normal. So I decided to take the pill when I was 16 or 17 because I heard that it was a good way to control your period and uh, to stop the pain. Uh, there were not that story about hormones and stuff like that back then. I was uh, young and innocent. And so I took the pill for maybe two, two or three years, I would say two years. Uh, it was making it less bad, maybe, yeah, maybe it was a bit less painful, but uh, I had already very good cycle, so it didn't, I, like, I didn't care about making it more regular because I had already really regular cycles. When I got 19 years old, I stopped the pill first because I came in London and ran out of pills, 
just that. And also because I didn't have any serious relationship, so I didn't thought it would be a uh, big deal if I stopped the pill. And I was feeling just as good. My cycle was still super nice. I had the same pain uh, as when I was on the pill. So it didn't change nothing. And I was protecting myself with condoms if I had a relationship with someone. When I got 21, I still wasn't on the pill. And I met my lover, my husband now, but uh, yeah, I met him. So I was thinking like, as it was getting serious to take again a contraceptive. And also I discovered the cup. So let's start with contraceptive. I just went in a health, a sexual health uh, services uh, in London. I asked for the pill, they gave me the pill. They uh, made blood tests obviously and a urinal test, everything they needed to give me a pill. Uh, it was a microdosed pill, uh, didn't change my life, was boring, I was forgetting it often because I was working late at night and then early in the morning my shift was changing all the time so I was forgetting often my pills, so it was really not the right way for me. And I discovered the cup, the cup, a menstrual cup uh, that were amazing for my period. You put it in the morning in your vagina, it takes all the blood, you empty it, you put it back every 12 hours, so you just do it two times a day, that's amazing, nothing moves, you don't pay uh, for uh, tampons, pads anymore, uh, you're saving the earth because you, there is less waste, but this is really amazing. If you've never tried the cup, honestly try. I've uh, been able to convince my friend, my sister, my cousin to use the cup and they all love it and they're saving so much money as well. Honestly, try it. And so I was using the cup, I was happy with it. And uh, at one point I was, I just stopped the pill again. And uh, I started to think about another contraception because the pill wasn't for me. I've, heard, I've had a friend who had uh, this, uh, this uh, ring that you put uh, in your vagina, obviously. Uh, every three weeks you remove it, etc. But it wasn't for me either because I don't want it to have it. I don't know, I don't want it to think about it every three weeks. I had many friends who had this uh, implant just there. And honestly, I couldn't imagine having something at the surface of my skin. It was, uh, it's grossing me. I, I hate it. And I was thinking more and more about the IUS or IUD, I didn't know at that time. And I didn't know no one who had one, but for me it was like the perfect uh, contraception because you change it every 5 to 10 years and you put it once and then you don't think about it. But from what I heard in France, you could have one only if you already had children, if you already gave birth. You could have it, but not if you didn't. And then I met uh, Beth, uh, is a friend of mine, and I was talking to her about contraception, and she told me that she had a IUD or IUS, I don't remember, one of those. And she told me, no, I have one, it's really good, I don't need to think about it. So I just thought more and more about it. And I went again to sexual health uh, clinic. And uh, I talk about them, about uh, IUS, IUDs, uh, they've been very kind, they help me uh, choose the right for me between IUD, which is a uh, coil, uh, which is in uh, non-hormonal contraception, I think you can give it three or five years, three to five years, and IUS, which has hormones, but uh, very low dosage hormones, and it liberates uh, dosage in continuum. And roughly the difference was that IUD had no hormones, uh, but uh, was in copper and uh, could have been a bit painful. It can make period a bit more painful. And I really don't want it that because I had already very painful periods. And the IUS that were micro hormonal and that might stop your period, which is very good for me because the less period I have, the more happy I am. And uh, also stopping the pain, obviously. And so my choice was really quickly made. But something to know when you're, when you're having a IUS or IUD, you cannot use the cup anymore. And that was a heartbreak, but 
it was a good choice in the end because uh, now I don't have my period anymore. So whew, that's a lot of information. Around the time I had to have it fit in. So I'm go it's gonna be a lot of information, but I think it's super interesting to know because me, I didn't know all of this, but I wish I knew. So you arrive there. Uh, they are testing if you're not pregnant because they can put it in if you're pregnant, obviously. You cannot take contraception if you're pregnant. And you're going in this, um, on this seat, you know, like, uh, like uh, when you give birth, you have your legs, uh, one here, one there, super comfortable. And uh, they're making you, if you wish to, fall asleep down there. So they're going to use first a gel and then uh, an injection. And me, when they put just the gel because it pushed on there, I had the worst pain in my life. My tension just dropped so much. I was not feeling good at all, at all, at all. And I just <sighs> was not feeling good. She she was very understanding and she was like, you're okay, we're gonna go slowly, na 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 na. And yeah, it was really not a good time. I had really bad pain. Uh, she fit it in. When she fit it in, I didn't feel much. I just really felt the, the injection, like the gel, not even the, the, the needle. The gel was the worst part of it. Uh, when it was fitted in, I just uh, seated for a few minutes. Uh, I had a period, like I was bleeding down there. I don't think it was period, but you know, I was bleeding obviously because they just put something in there. And she, she told me to sit 10 minutes, to go slowly. You know, she was really understanding. She was, it was not like uh, I do it and bye, you know. They were really supporting you and helping you. And it was really nice, uh, really nice. The support was nice, just the support. I took a week off work in advance because I knew I was going to to feed my IUS and they recommended me to take a week off. And I was really feeling bad, like not bad, bad, but you know, like period pain for an entire week. It's been eight months that uh, I have it. It's been a couple of months that I don't have my period anymore. Since the beginning, my period pain is a lot uh better like a lot less bad and yeah i don't need to think about taking any contraception when i travel and i i'm not scared to forget my contraception uh, i'm protected for five years uh, and i use uh, pads i used pads because for the first six months you can only use pads you cannot use the cups or tampons anymore because you can make like a suction uh, but after six months you can use tampons again but i don't need to use nothing anymore uh, and that's it. Also, I cannot show you because I'm filming with it, but on my phone I have this app called uh, Flow, F-L-O, and uh, it's really nice because first of all, I could, when I wasn't on uh, the iOS, I could control uh, when to take, uh, when I was going to have my period. I could control uh, when I was uh, going to uh, to take my pill, you know, they were reminding me. Now I have the iOS, so I have put it in my app and they're gonna remind me in uh, five years that I need to change it. So that's a really good app, honestly, if you want to control all that, it's really, really good. You can put any contraception method in it and it's, it's really helping you. It's also giving you insights about period, about contraception, about everything. And voila! That was a really long story about my contraception and my periods. Now I feel a lot better with my body. Uh, I'm not sh ashamed anymore to buy pads, for example, which I was when I was younger. Uh, I'm not shy to say that I have my period. I'm not shy to say that uh, I don't know which contraception I'm taking, uh, how I'm feeling. There's many people who say, oh, women, when they're on their period, they're so annoying. But uh, I'd like to remind you, what I said at the beginning of the video, I've already fainted several times because of my period. My sister were throwing up because of their period. So sorry, I'm not in a bad mood. I am in pain. So please just understand that, right? And that's it. I hope I've been able to give you some, uh, some information about contraception and also about the cup. Honestly, I didn't talk much about the cup, but it's really good try it that's all i have to say because you can only like it once you tried it and uh, ios is the same if you are the kind of person who always forget your contraception who don't want to get pregnant who haven't planned to have a baby use it because also uh when you take off your ios you can get pregnant the months after the the cycle after so that's also a very good thing because 
if you want to be pregnant, well, you can straight after, so that's great. And uh, that's it. That's gonna be all for this video. That was a really, really, really long video with a lot of information, but I hope it's been useful. I hope you're gonna think about what I said and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope it's not gonna take me five hours to edit. <laughs> Let me know what you thought about it in the comment. Leave a thumbs up if you've learned something today and have a very good day. Bye bye.